I'm Jeff Donahue, and I'm going to be talking about, uh, I do computer vision research, and I'm going to be talking about some of my work in deep object detection today. Uh, I'm going to start off with um, a very brief introduction to what's kind of at the heart of this work, which is uh, convolutional neural networks. Um, so these are sort of a computer vision met uh, classification method, and typically the way they're used is you feed in, you directly feed in image pixels, and you get category predictions like cat or jack-o'-lantern. And part of the reason these have been so successful is that they're um, layered representations, so they learn uh, more complicated hypotheses at every, every layer. And the reason these are so appealing is that instead of actually, actually hand-designing uh, the things you're interested in, you can actually learn these things on the data at every layer. Uh, so these were proposed in the 80s, but they didn't uh, gain much traction until about a year ago when uh, it was demonstrated by some people from Toronto that you could use a very large one of these trained on um, a, gra a graphics card for about a week. And it was actually very successful in doing a 1,000 category uh, classification task. Uh, so it beat the traditional approaches by um, a margin of uh, roughly 40% relative. And we actually reproduced these results, and you can actually try it yourself at our demo website. So this is great for image classification, but it was never demonstrated on a more complicated uh, computer vision task, which is the localization task, where, for example, the detection task, we actually have to not only say what the object in the image is, but put a bounding box around it telling uh, to say where it is in the image. And in this case, you can see there's actually multiple objects in the image rather than having the image uh, contain a single object well-centered. So we wanted to be able to do this on this complex data set with a lot of clutter, many objects per image, and um, so this is a much more difficult task than the ImageNet task where you have a single object inside of an image. So we wanted to combine the benefits, the practical benefits of a detection uh, uh, algorithm with uh, the very high classification accuracy of this convolutional neural network. So we proposed the first uh, attention window framework for a convolutional neural network. Uh, and the way this essentially works is we use a region proposal based method uh, which gives us uh, a, a couple thousand candidate boxes at, per image that it thinks looks like objects. Uh, we feed these proposals into the convolutional neural network and we apply a very simple linear uh, classifier or regressor to the predictions from a given layer of the network. And then we use some non-max suppression algorithm, which basically says if you have two uh, very close detections, uh, you just take the higher scoring one as the true positive. So people have been working on this data set for a long time. And the results uh, in terms of mean average precision, which is a detection uh, uh, sort of scoring uh, mechanism, uh, the mean AP that they were getting was in the 30% 30, 30 range. Just applying the very basic version of our algorithm, uh, feeding these region proposals into the convnet gets us uh, a very large boost over the, data, uh, over the previous state of the art from 34% to roughly 43%. And then if you actually fine tune the parameters of the network uh, on, the, uh, on the Pascal data set itself, rather than just using the raw parameters from the ImageNet trained version, you actually get an even bigger boost up from 34% in the previous state of the art to 48%, which is roughly a 50% improvement over the previous uh, best work. Here what we're showing is uh, not actually our best results, but these are actually our mistakes uh, from the, from, uh, for the bicycle class. And as you can see, um, almost all of these images actually do have bicycles in them, and we, we're getting a bounding box near the bicycle, but it's just not quite localized well enough. And as you can see, the main mistakes made by our algorithm are localization errors. These are mostly birds, cats, people. And finally, um, I would let, uh, I'm going to show you, uh, demonstrate what our network learns by a visualization method where we um, pick a feature in the network and show the top, uh, top images that, for this feature. So for example, this feature really likes dogs. Uh, this one likes pink things. So some of them are more uh, semantic and others are more uh, texture or color based. Uh, this is, seems to be green things. Motorcycle, riders, <clears throat> text, uh, dogs, people, and others. And finally, I want to close by uh, a brief plug for our CAFE, which is uh, Berkeley Vision and Learning Center's uh, neural network implementation. It's actually the fastest implementation that uh, we know of, and it works on both the CPU and GPU. Um, and it has Python and MATLAB wrappers. And uh, we're going to be releasing the code for the detection part of uh, this talk very soon inside of this framework. Thank you. And all this stuff is available. <laughs>